and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm talking about my Yves Saint Laurent monogram envelope bag. It's designed with chevron and diamond Mathieu Lasse quilted print. So, let's talk about a few fun facts about the brand history and YSL the designer. It is important to note that under new brand ownership, YSL has been shortened to just Saint Laurent. But first, I have a question for you. Are you a fan of YSL? And which item do you own? Yves Saint Laurent once said, Fashion's fade, style is eternal. I love that. These bags are not only great investments, but they often have higher resale values making them a small financial investment. Now back to the monogram envelope bag. Its dimensions are 24 by 17 and a half by six centimeters. On the inside is cotton lined with one zip pocket. There's a magnetic snap button closure on the front. It is a shoulder bag made with 100% calfskin leather. It has a sliding chain and leather shoulder straps measuring 11.8 inches. The front has an envelope flap top with golden interlaced YSL initials and magnetic snap button closure. One flat pocket at the back. These bags are not only great investments, but they often have higher resale values, making them a small financial investment. They are timeless pieces, credit to the mere variation of its classic design. Some of my personal favorites are the envelope bag, cake bag, bucket, duffel, uptown east west bag, manhattan bag, and the sunset bag. However, there are more styles in the YSL repertoire. A few fun facts about Yves Saint Laurent, the designer. Yves Saint Laurent was best known as an influential European fashion designer who impacted fashion in the 1960s to the present day. In 1966, he launched his own fashion leap where his adaptation of tuxedos for women garnered him fame. He was the first live-in designer to receive a solo exhibition in New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art in 1983. He found solace in the world of fashion. By his early teen years, he was designing dresses for his mother and sister. A whole new world opened up to Saint Laurent when his mother took him to Paris for a meeting she arranged with the editor of French Vogue. A year later, he moved to Paris, where his designs quickly gained notice. The editor of French Vogue introduced him to Christian Dior, a giant in the fashion world. It was in 1961 when he founded his fashion brand and reshaped the future of fashion. By the 1980s, Saint Laurent was a true icon. In January of 2002, he participated in his final show and then retired for good in Marrakesh. 